Okay, Thursday morning in the kingdom, and we survived yesterday. It was a busy day. We did lots, and we remembered to be on time or to show up at certain times. Yes, that was amazing at my age and for the amount I drink. All right, this morning we woke up to minus 10 Celsius, but feels like minus 12, which is lies. It's warm out here. It's unreal how warm it is. All right, then on the yo-yo scale, plus 14 Fahrenheit. Yes, I told you it's warm. But feels like plus 10. Ooh, chilly. Ah. So that's why it being so warm, we couldn't move the welding sleigh from over there over to the tank sheds here so we could weld the flag of honoring the ladies of Wasp. We had to get the quad out with the other welder because if we'd moved the sleighs around the yard, we would have made a mess because the snow is so warm in the texture. That's why we had to go down with the 41 Chevy to meet Johnny at the front gate instead of taking the loader out or anything like that because of the snow base in the kingdom. And we would have got stuck. We would have made a mess. We have to keep the snow base because we want to have more fun with the cats and sleighs to document a forgotten way of life. Also, too, we have to thank Sir Rodney and Paul, the shipper at West Trans, for doing an excellent job of shipping the product to us at the end of the world. Also, too, the person at the transport company that damaged our last pallet, you know, shoving the forks through it and not reporting it or saying, oops, look at all the dog food pouring out of that pallet. You know, there's something wrong. Most likely that person is now in management. Yes, he screwed up so bad they put him in management. Yes, so that explains the new world. Also, too, don't look at the cleavage. Sir Rodney is treating the guard dogs to cheese flavor. Yes, and it's a big bag, and they can see how big it is. Oh, man, when I carried it out of the house, they were going nuts because they seen the size of it. Sir Rodney has dogs, too, so he treats them good. So that we treat our guard, guard dogs at the end of the world excellent and good because they're rescue puppies. Yes, when we got them, they were rescued. And some of them we weren't sure were going to make it. Now they lived a good life thanks to Sir Rodney. All right. Don't look at the cleavage. That was well planned because that thing's heavy at my age. All right, let's see if we can back up and scroll over here. With it being a warm day today, we'll be hiding in the shop, performing magic. Hopefully the gods of gravity do not overcome my welds, and I'm grinding and grinding, and then I'm not a welder, I'm a grinder boy. Yes, so they're still going to plug a cat in, because we're going to have to plow the snow in the new shop, so we can park the screaming tra Ford back there with the trailer. Yes, we had great plans, we're going to do this and that, but nothing, it's too warm. and freaking real I don't know, we might have to move to Wyoming or North Dakota to experience winter. Or maybe Wilderness, Alaska, because that's just over there. Yes. All right. So we'll scroll this way. All right. There. We got that working out pretty good with the flags. Everything turned out well, because that was well planned, thought out, and the right amount of beverage. Yes. All right. I did over here. The wood stove smoldered all night. So all I have to do now is to fluff up the coals and throw some more wood in to make the Swedish kid happy. But right now I'm pumping water to the house because I might want to have a bath tonight because it's going to be so warm I might sweat. Oh, perspire for the ladies. All right, so let's get back to go work here. We got to remember we're pumping water to the house because if not, we'll have a bathroom full of water. And then I got to clean up a mess like before or whatever. I've done that before. Yeah, I blame the alcohol. All right, we better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, off to a slow start here because we're having lots of comments and uh, interactions, as you'd say, on the social media with the flag honoring the ladies of Wasp. Okay, so Johnny brought us some pallets. He gave us an extra one, plus we got the pallet that Sir Rodney sent while Paul the Shipper had made the box on or whatever. So, okay, this is a funny wood or whatever. They make terrible pallets. Everybody hates them, but we love them burning them. So we cut them up with a skill saw. Yes, the skill saw over here using the Irwin blade all right from sir rodney and then we put the roots in yes the roots from the trees because remember we uh, cut trees down like clark griswold does with his christmas tree roots and all so if you put the roots in because they're a slow burn add the pallet because that's a fast burn and then toss in a couple of those white trees over there it gives you a nice even heat throughout the day because if you try just the stumps, it's a slow heat, it goes out. If you try just the pallets, it's a fast heat and it, like the wood just basically vaporizes like gasoline. All right, so can you feel that heat, Les Nessman? Oh yes, I can. 
Okay, we'll try a little bit of magic here because my arms aren't long enough and the me phone is not, uh, how would you say, wide angle, low angle, narrow angled lenses or whatever. It's a simple me phone used as a cell phone, I guess, for them southern folks. But up here we use them as cameras. Yes, that's pretty bad when a me phone or a, a cell phone is a better camera than the cameras you purchase. All right, so the cable will come over this pulley for salvage and then it'll be driven off of a cat. Uh, hook to the hook to the uh, hitch or the hitch will be on the ground and you back the cat onto the hitch or over top of the hitch so this doesn't uh, how do you say lever up so the winch cable will be coming from there let's walk this way all right walk and talk video everybody needs their exercise and it's a cloudy overcast icky day we can't see it because the glare on the windows yes it's nice nice having windows so the cable will come over the top here Plus, this will never be straight in line. So we're going to have to whip up some rollers to guide the cable into the pulley there. That's why we chose that deep groove pulley. All right, let's do the walk and talk this way. So just like at the gym, we're getting exercise. Oh, yes, the promo bike. A little bit of smoke in the shop here because I opened the door to fill the wood stove. All right, so over here. Okay. One of the best things I ever did was save that painted tub or it was a steel box it's 3 8 material it's very nice material i've saved it for over 25 years from the mine and it is nice stuff to work with okay so here's the plasma cutter with a fairly new tip oh we got to do the promo here okay so here's the plasma cutter the pro point 30a plus from princess auto for this thick material we're cutting at 28 we didn't crank it to 29 because it goes up to 30 not like the spinal tap amps in that film going to number 11. all right so back over here with a brand new tip you're getting a nice cut okay and these tips are designed to wear out okay so that affects your how would you say cutting ability so when the tip is basically boogered out it basically can't cut anything thick but that's no problem we keep going because we can hammer it grind it because tips are expensive and five to ten days to get here at the end of the world and also too to make a roller system we save anything of interest okay so there was a light plant that came bouncing over this winter road and this is the axle okay and so in 2020 we had to put a new under axle under it because the axle was bent axles are actually a tubing okay which is very nice because there's no seam right okay so that's kind of really nice that way so if we stick these bolts here from the mine we have lots of them in here like that and cut it off here we're actually making a guide roller okay so that should work out very well and to get this project underway this morning we're drinking the cream soda because nobody else will buy it in the stores we treated ourselves to soda pop uh when we did the uh, beach 18 uh recovery mission so we're uh, how would you say bonus round we got cream soda and pop to drink for the how would you say the rest of the week so that was a nice treat for us okay i'm getting set up there to do the how would you say they rolled got uh, cable guide roller thingy bobs okay so what we're doing oh we got to have the plasma cutter the pro point 30a plus by princess auto okay so we're going to be cutting some holes in the plate here and what i did is i put a new tip in so you get a little wrench for the tip and here's your little ring that evaporates or vaporizes when there's moisture come through and then your nozzle cone or whatever and that's how it goes so this tip here was used a little bit i don't know if we can see that last nestman but it burns back okay i didn't know if we'll show up on the camera i mean the me phone but that one there i got my monies out and it's electrical or whatever so anything electrical or laser like dr evil it burns right back so i don't know if you can see the concave or the divot there so that tip will blow every which way but straight okay so what it will do is we'll cut the holes over here and then change back to this tip here because it doesn't really matter if these lines here cut at a slight angle but we want perfect holes so the plan here and also too i made a mistake again for the first time in my life this axle tubing is not seamless there is the rib uh, seam right there it's the thickness i think yeah that's what we want so this fits in nicely here okay like that oh hand and eye coordination just like in the bedroom all right so this is what's going to be happen 
Since how the bolt fits in there and it's loose, we have to offset the hole over and back so the roller thingy is whatever up tight against the uh, roller or this pulley. Oh, these lips need some more vodka. All right, so before you pre drilled the hole, because we don't want Mr. Plasma Cutter here to get sprayed back big time because that'll take out a tip. All right, so we'll cut the hole on the yellow line right there, okay? And I marked it with that purple marker, knowing that I, that's what I have to cut out. Because it gets a little confusing, all the yellowness and short memory and due to alcohol, okay? So this piece will get cut out because that's where the pulley is going to go. And this is where the bolt's going to go. So this should work out good. And these should turn and free float. So this is the bottom piece. The top piece has to be open because we have to be able to toss the cable up. But we'll design that once we get the bottom welded on to find out we've made a mistake. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom, and we did the main hole cuts with the new tip, and look at that. I don't know. Is that too far? Too close? I'll move it back. All right. So that shows you what the 70 pounds PSI on that plasma cutter is, and that's coming through the small little hole. Like anything in oxyacetylene, you increase the tip size for more oxygen to come through to blow thicker material. Yes, we cut scrap metal for many years, so we kind of know what it's all about. So we're very pleased with that. I cut the hole small and then I trimmed it out, okay? And then these bolts are actually got a fairly good tightness in them. Does that make sense? Tightness? All right. So now this plate will fit onto here, okay? Now I'll copy this plate and make it so it goes up there. Because we have to be able to take the top off to throw the cable into here. Ooh, hand and eye coordination. Because we have to be able to keep this cable tight in here, okay? So done doing some big nuts and everything like that. It's nothing because you don't want this cable to jump out or anything because if you're doing a recovery, this little salvage loop could be almost laying on its side and you'll keep winching because you almost have the sunken cat out or the sunken sleigh or the vehicle out. So you can't give up. So you have to make it, how would you say, foolproof for the north. Yes, wilderness Alaska, but in northern Manitoba. Let's go have some lunch. Or, okay, let's go burn lunch and then eat it. Okay, me again. We switched back after those holes were cut with a new tip. We went back to a used tip there, okay, so you see what's going along. Also, too, what happens, I think, what kills those tips, you know, anything electrical or anything like that, is when it goes blowing back up because of the travel speed or anything like that. So we're all learning, we're having fun, and that's the main thing. We're not sitting here, how would you say, playing the Xbox on the couch and eating chips. All right, now let's go have some lunch. Okay, just about coffee time in the kingdom, and I had a busy after lunch, okay. So the buzz box is back here, and the workbench is over there so in other words we had to set up a little workstation over here don't want to go too fast i get dizzy okay all right so i sat on my bar stool or yeah my stool like norm and i welded the heads of these bolts to the bottom plate okay so i had to weld them because the top comes off all right so now i'll stop the video and we'll take that piece apart to tell you how i did it Okay, when you will live in wilderness Alaska, but in northern Manitoba, you never throw anything out. And if you find old bolts and everything in the bush, like we found a stash last year in the wilderness here that somebody thrown out or, you know, too lazy to go to the garbage dump. So they tossed it and we found it. That was a godsend. So oh, you always keep everything you think. Well, you always keep everything your wife or your, your best friend or whatever would throw out. Okay. Figuring it's no good or so it's going to help you clean up the shop. So these are the washers we got. But the thing is, is we've organized over the years. That's a pail of big washers. Okay. So here we got them right here. They're going to be the, how do you say, the swivel or the spinny thing assistance. Okay. All right. So over here, to get these things to be straight, see, a chop saw will never cut straight. You have a 14 inch diameter blade that flexes and try or whatever, rotates and whatever. So that's the moral of the story. So I was lucky enough to be gifted by a kingdom follower or YouTube subscriber, a big uh, grinding wheel. So I've been saving it for special occasions. As you can see, I've been using it. So the grinder fits nicely on there, okay? So you're doing the full cut or uh, grind, okay? So keep putting them on the straight edge, okay? So. This one's kind of got a little bit of a lean, but that's acceptable. We're within, uh, I don't know, a quarter of an inch lean. And same as this. So you just turn them upside down to see which way they're leaning and grind some more till they look straight. Okay. So that's how you do it up here. We don't have a lathe. We don't have an access to the lathe. And we're not going to drive the 300 kilometers to the nearest machine shop in Thompson. 
because those guys have screwed up three times. So I might as well do it myself. And I, you know, pay myself to screw it up. I'm not paying them to screw it up. All right. So in theory, this is what's going to happen. One. Oh, that'll be loud. Okay. Gentle now. Just like in the bedroom. All right. So then we put these over here. And over here. Oh, tight from being new. Okay. So we know that this here will now give it a swivel. Okay. The top plate will be anchored to the top of the pulley to protect the pulley from the cable popping off. Plus there'll be stoppers so the uh, top plate will only come down a certain thing. So no matter how much we tighten the big nuts, it'll not put total pressure on here. These will always be a roller. And the bottom plate gets welded into place. And also too, when you're playing with the big boys, you got to get the big tools out. We were lucky enough to find a barrel of these bolts from the mine they'd thrown in for scrap. And then it took like a week or two weeks later, we found some nuts. So those nuts were a godsend. So we actually, any projects we do, we have to use the nuts. So that's what the thing is. So we went to the shed this morning to build a roller. We had to find something of quality, which was the axle tubing. And then we had to make sure we had the bolts and the nuts, okay? So we couldn't, how would you say, how would you say, we couldn't have a blueprint or a wish list, right? So we had to make it, make it work with what we have. And that's what we're doing. We have lots of 3 8 material. We have lots of that tubing. We have lots of the bolts. And we have the wrenches for the big nuts. All right, let's go have a coffee. Oh, with some beverage. Also, too, as a disclaimer, the safety guard on the grinder was taken off for filming purposes, okay? We have, oops. We have to work safely because it's a three hour plane ride south to the good drugs. So that's why if we do get hurt, we have to drink vodka to take the pain away. Okay, now we can go for a late coffee. I went to the shed and got a couple more of those big bolts and some more nuts. I got thinking if we're taking the top off, let's have one size of wrench, okay? And also too, this is that soft material here. So I can actually put some gussets up and supports for the top and stuff so i can actually enclose this pulley a little bit more to keep the cable on so in the morning i have to weld behind in this bolt before i weld the bolt to the thingy me bobs okay so i made note there because at my age i'll forget i'll weld the bolt in and i'll go how that crap am i going to get back in here yes that's the joys of getting old all right let's go have a quick coffee the staff should be here soon and then we can ride the cat yes we're gonna go plow some snow in the new shop yes so oh, what were we thinking Thursday morning in Whoville and it's just after 8 30 a.m and I'm getting ready for work as you can see it is pretty cloudy out there and we don't have a sunrise I think it's going to snow again because it's pretty warm it did snow last night but not very much now it's time to head inside let the dogs back in get ready and head to work 12 30 and I'm just finishing up lunch made soup and a sandwich it sure is nice out here today I'm also subbing grade twos again I think for the rest of the week now it's time to head inside let the dogs back in and get to work four o'clock and I just made home from work. The grade twos had a pretty good day for arts and crafts. We made leprechaun hats. This one fits my head. That's why it looks like that. We also made ladybugs and pot of gold. I had all 11 of my kids wearing these all over the school today. Everyone thought it was pretty cool. Now it's time to get the skidoo out and head on over to the kingdom. Just after 4 p.m. and I got the skidoo and toboggan out, I have to bring it over to the kingdom and fill it up with some wood from the wood tank. That way my dad has firewood. It is way too warm to get the mini out and grab a big tote of wood. So let's head on over to the kingdom. 4.30 and I just made to the kingdom. Now I'll head on down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. I'm pretty sure I hear the mini running, so I wonder what we're doing. Down at the shop and looks like my dad has the mini out. He has to grab a couple trees and a plate off the trailer. So while he's doing that, I'll go fill up the toboggan with wood out of the woodshed. On my way to the wood tank and I just wanted to stop and give you guys a little video. This is why we cannot go down our trails right now. This trail takes you over to the rabbit tower and the muskeg and stuff. And if you see right in here, it's all melted pretty good because it's nice and soft. So we don't want to go down the trail and wreck it because if we do, it'll kind of look something like this here all messed up and rugged then that won't be good for us so we'll have to build our trail all over again just after 4 30 i'm over at the wood tanks now this tank here has a bunch of wood in it and so does this one i'm going to empty out this here and then move to the next tank i don't have to put sides on it or anything because we have to empty the trailer out to shop on saturday so i'm just going to fill it up the best i can almost five o'clock and i just got the toboggan filled up i cleaned out everything from this tank shed that way it can be closed off and next time we come with the toboggan we'll be taking out of this one here now it's time to head on down to the shop and unhook it 
5 o'clock and I got the toboggan down by the shop. My dad had to help me wiggle it into place, but this should last him until Saturday when I go shopping in the morning. Now I'll head on over and see what he's up to. Looks like my dad got Curse Reverse going. It started no problem with his farm gas motor. It worked perfectly, especially with this warm weather. We didn't even have to plug it in. While this warms up, my dad's going to take the old wood totes down and then bring up some fresh wood. We got a couple trees down there left to bring up, so we'll go do that. Not sure how much I'll record, but I guess we'll find out. You can see how warm it is because the mini doesn't want to move and neither does the little wood tote there. That is why we didn't go grab a fresh wood tote from behind the house because there's no way we'd be able to drag it through the yard. It's just too warm and soft. down at the wood pile and we just drop the tote off. Now my dad will grab a handful of trees and head on back up to the shop. Got the trees up to the shop, no problem. I even closed the gate on my way back up. Now my dad went to get Cursor Reverse and we're gonna head into the new shop over here and clean out all the snow. Got Cursor Reverse down at the new shop now. My dad's gonna backblade a few times to smooth everything out. It doesn't have to be perfect with all this warm weather. I'm sure this snow will melt pretty quickly. Almost 5.30 and we are officially done with Curse Reverse. While my dad goes to park it, I'm going to bring the Mini over and get rid of these big snow banks here and flick everything back. That way when we park the trailer back in here, it doesn't hit the snow banks and get stuck or bounce off them and end up in the pit. Just after 5.30 and I got the Mini put away, I did a nice little clean cut on either side here so when we do put the trailer away, it should fit no problem. Now I'll head on over to the shop and see what my dad's up to. Almost 6 o'clock and I'm officially done in the kingdom. I already grabbed my dog treats. Now it's time to head on back into Whoville and do the weather. 
Six o'clock, I just made home from the kingdom. Now it's time to put the skidoo away and let the dogs out, then do the weather. I'm not gonna get a fire going today because it's still too warm out. Just after 6 p.m. and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's zero degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been pretty warm out today. Now the wind is picking up and there's some clouds rolling in. So maybe it will snow tonight. Now it's time to head inside, make supper and end my day. Okay, getting close to six o'clock. I can taste the beer now, but I got to walk the dogs first. And we made a mess over here. Well, we kind of smoothed it out. So thought that counts. All right, over here. I think we would still still going. I don't know. It, the sun is warm, but the wind is chilly. But that's normal. The staff laid out my trees so I can cut them to fit in the wood stove. That was pretty nice of her. All right. So over here, I was watching the flags. And we get a nice breeze. The big one in the back there in honor of the ladies of Wasp. That thing stands out pretty good. Like it flies nice. I think it's the material and the size of it. it Catch the wind like a sail. And the other ones are doing pretty good. I just untangled them so they can tangle themselves back up. All right. So let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video, and talk to you later.